Starting things off, you cannot go wrong with a chainsaw. Seriously, what man is going to say no to this beauty? Mmm, smells like gasoline. Seriously, a lot of us guys were very hard to get gifts for because we don't tell people what we want and from the outside it looks like we have everything that we need. But do we? Of course, the answer is no and in today's video I'm going to share with you how to find the perfect gift for guys that are hard to get gifts for. So let's talk tools. That chainsaw, I wasn't kidding. If a guy's got land, chainsaw is a great gift, especially if he already knows how to use a chainsaw. Here's the thing with tools. Men absolutely love it. I don't know, it takes us back to a time we used to play with Legos. Nowadays, we can build things for real. And even if he only rarely ever used the tool, it's nice to have them. Now, I've had this drill in particular coming on a decade and I absolutely love it. Notice though, it's a Makita. That's important because when I received this orbital sander as a gift, it was a Makita as well. Guess what? The battery pack is interchangeable and those are the things you want to look for. You want to make sure when you're giving something to somebody, especially a functional tool, it is something they're going to be able to use and is going to work with the other tools in their toolkit. Another thing to look for is maybe the tool is great, but maybe he needs additional accessories, new blades, or maybe a new battery. So I got this third party battery, which actually is great because it's got a little indicator of how much of a charge it has because my other batteries, which were a decade old, started to die. So look for little things like that. Can you actually just get an accessory piece that's going to make the tool run like new again? And the great thing about tools is you can pick them up pretty much anywhere. Walk into a hardware store, grab a bit set. Yeah, the day before Christmas, you got a great stocking stuffer right here. And if you're worried about giving a gift that you could hurt himself with, why not give a gift of safety? So right here, we've got a gripper by Microjig. What I love about this, you use this when you're cutting wood using that table saw, you're going to make sure that you have your fingers. And when it comes to clamps, a man can never have too many clamps. Oh yeah. Seriously, clamps are awesome. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, come on, Antonio, the guy I'm giving that to, he's a city boy. He wouldn't know what to do with those tools. Seriously, though, tons of city guys love their tools. They're great with them. Point being, though, some people have limited space or they don't need full-on tool sets. I get it. So, look to multi-tools. I don't want a multi-tool. Said no man ever. Leatherman, Gerber, whatever you decide to go with, a micro Leatherman, keep one in your vehicle, keep one in your other vehicle. Speaking of another easy win, flashlights. Go small or go big. Small flashlights, we love them. We can attach them to our keychains, to our clothing. We put them in places, we stash them where we think we're going to need them. We love small flashlights. Big flashlights, these are great because they're incredibly bright and we can also use them as a weapon. Medium-sized flashlights, they're okay. Medium-sized flashlights that double as a stun gun, awesome. America. FYI, before buying one of these, make sure it's legal in your area. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, come on, Antonio, this is real men, real style. Give me a stylish suggestion. Okay, so does he wear an Apple watch? Okay, he's into watches, but he doesn't really have a nice watch. Let's upgrade. Let's get him a really nice watch, one that he'll be able to pass on maybe to his son, one that he's going to love, one that you can actually give to him and it's going to have sentimental meaning. Now, when it comes to quality made watches, tons of options out there. You can go with Seiko, you can go with Orient. If you've got more money to spend, maybe you want to give a Rolex. So when it comes to giving a gift, I think presentation is incredibly important. Right here, I've got the micro brand Manta. What I love about them is they give you this beautiful box. Yes, I'm sure you pay for it, but at the end of the day, when you get a box like this and you open it, you're like, wow, the presentation is beautiful. I can store it in this box and it just looks really nice. Right here, I've got their Triumph, a great watch. I've had this one for now, coming in on two years absolutely love it. Don't be afraid to spend a little bit more money for a watch that he's going to pass on to his kids. And by the way, I'm wearing a Manta Ocean King right here. Another great gift idea for the hard to buy for a guy, especially if he's already got some automatic watches, get him a watch winder. Now, the watch winder serves two purposes. The first one is to keep your watch wound. Why is this important? Well, if you've got an automatic watch every 36 to maybe 72 hours, you need to make sure that thing is in motion so that it is maintaining all the settings you've got. So basically, the way it works is the watch is going to be set in a pillow. It's going to be stuck in the winder and the winder is going to rotate back and forth and it's going to keep the watch wound. Now, the second function of the watch winder is display. This thing looks beautiful on your shelf. Seriously, most guys tuck their nice watches away. Wouldn't it be great, especially if you own quite a few watches, to have them on display in your bedroom. Now, prices are all over the place when it comes to watch winders. I do find the higher priced watch winders use better materials, but if this is going to be his first watch winder, he doesn't have anything like it, don't be afraid just to spend under a hundred bucks. You can find some really nice ones on Amazon. 
Now, speaking of watches, what if the guy you're looking to get a gift for already has his Apple Watch, has his iPhone, has his iPods, and is using three separate cords to charge everything? Why not get him that three-in-one charger? I know I got one the other day, and I absolutely love it. One cord to rule them all. Seriously, under 30 bucks, this is a great gift, especially for the guy that needs help with his organization. Now, maybe you're hard to buy for a guy is into electronics. Well, he got tons of options here because yes, he's got a great camera, but are there ways to upgrade? Guys appreciate it when you do a little bit more research and you say, you know what? I'm going to get you this lens, which everyone talks about online, which just gets a much crisper picture. Maybe he uses a lot of video with it. So guess what? Get a little, you know, microphone there. That's going to be a lot better than the microphone on the internals right there on the camera. Maybe a higher quality SD card, some extra batteries. It may be he's already got some great lenses, but he doesn't have filters or protectors on those lenses. The point here is to do a little bit of research and that guy that you thought was hard to buy for, all of a sudden you realize there are tons of things that you can give him and you can surprise him and make his day. Now, what if the guy you're looking to get something for isn't in the technology? He's really old school. Maybe it's your dad, maybe your granddad, maybe it's just a young man with an old soul. We'll look to get a journal. What I love about journals is a lot of guys don't receive nice ones as gifts. A lot of guys already are taking notes. They're writing things down. If you see that, say, you know what? How about I upgrade his journal? Get him something really. It's got a nice, tough outer covering, has, you know, everything he needs on the inside and uh, tons of options here. This company right here, Lockbee, I've talked about them in the past. They're not the sponsor today video. They got tons of other options as well. If you want to look at their field journals, these are great as well. Now with the journal, you also have the option of getting them a nice pen. Again, a great stocking stuffer. You don't have to spend a crazy amount of money. I like Fisher's space pens. These are really cool. Uh, zebra pens, I mean, relatively inexpensive. We're talking less than 10 bucks. You could spend a lot more money and get him a really nice Mont Blanc. Look at tactical pens. Absolutely love these. They've got some with flashlights, other ones that simply turn into weapons. They're really fun and actually they they work great as functional pens. Maybe you want to give the gift to health. You want to encourage him to take better care of his body, but how can you do this without coming off as overly pushy? Well, go look at his closet, see what he's already using. Maybe he loves to run, but he hasn't ran for a while. Get him a new pair of running shoes, same brand, same company, same size, just maybe the latest and greatest version so that he gets back into the habit. Now, this next gift idea is simple. It's easy, but it's going to blow his mind. So he drinks coffee, but he drinks that drip stuff, right? Okay. Get him a French press, get him a kettle as well. Thing is, when he boils the water, he pours it across the grounds and he presses that and he drinks that coffee, he is going to notice a huge difference. Seriously, French presses are easy to find. They're inexpensive. And if he already drinks coffee, it's not really going to change up his habits much. The way he makes the coffee is going to be slightly different and he is going to notice a huge difference in taste. So now let's talk about clothing. Let's go for the quick win, low hanging fruit underwear. Most guys don't spend money on their underwear and it's easy to find that person's size. So what underwear am I going to recommend? Sheath. I've talked about it in the past. They're not the sponsor of today's video, but I love what these guys are doing with the pouch for your package. And even if he doesn't like this, here's the thing. You don't have to use it. It's still going to be incredibly comfortable underwear because it uses modal. If you're not familiar with modal, it, it, it feels like silk. It's incredibly tough. It's durable. It's going to last. Seriously, when a guy goes from rough cotton tidy whities to a boxer brief made from modal, it's like, yeah, it is going to blow his mind. Or maybe he's spending 12 hours a day sitting at a desk. Can you get him a new chair? I got one of those bouncy ball chairs and I love it because it kind of keeps me unbalanced. So I have to stabilize myself and use my core muscles. Or maybe look at a standing desk. I've got a couple of them here in the office and I absolutely love them. What I love is that, yeah, if you don't like the standing option, you can just go back to the normal height. I also got the kind that are non-electronic. I just manually adjust them and they were actually pretty darn affordable. The next gift idea for a guy that's hard to shop for is incredibly successful and reads a lot, get him a fiction book. So he may read a lot, but most likely he reads a lot of nonfiction. I know that's me. I read probably a book a week, but it's mostly audiobooks. It's almost always nonfiction. But at night, when I want to wind down, that's what these books are great for, at least in my experience. Seriously, so many guys need books like this to rest, relax, to chill out because winter is coming. And speaking of winter, why not give that hard to shop for guy an upgrade in his skincare? Seriously, if you haven't checked out my company, Vitaman, I'm linking to him down in the description. Yes, this is my company. I stand behind every product we put out. And guys, we've got tons of great skincare products, shaving products. If you need products for your hair, you want a great conditioner and shampoo. If you've got thinning hair, oily hair, we've got you covered over at Vitaman. 
And to make things easy, down in the description of today's video, I'm putting links to all the items I talked about. So what video to watch next? How about 10 things I can't live without? Seriously, I had fun with this video. And yes, it goes beyond the basic survival stuff, which I do talk about at the beginning. But guys, it was a fun video. I enjoyed it. I think you will too. Go check it out.